one of the world's most important bankers, he's the head of the International Monetary Fund, is charged with sexually assaulting a maid in his Manhattan hotel room. CBS News correspondent Michelle Miller is in Lower Manhattan this morning with the very latest on this. Michelle, good morning. Good morning, Erica. Dominique Strauss-Kahn spent the night in jail awaiting his arraignment at this Manhattan courthouse today. He agreed to a DNA test and forensic exam to search for scratches or any other evidence of a physical alleged sexual assault. As chief of the International Monetary Fund, Dominique Strauss-Kahn is one of the most powerful men in the banking world. Last night, he stepped in front of cameras, handcuffed and charged with an array of sex crimes. The man who was considering a run for the presidency of France agreed to submit to DNA tests in an effort to clear his name. He intends to vigorously defend these charges and he denies any wrongdoing. Strauss-Kahn is scheduled to be arraigned this morning. His attorney says he'll plead not guilty to charges of attempted rape, unlawful imprisonment and a criminal sex act. The 62-year-old French politician is accused of attacking a 32-year-old maid Saturday afternoon inside his $3,000 a night hotel suite. She had gone in to clean what she thought was an empty room. But according to police, Strauss-Kahn was inside a bathroom in a Sofitel suite. He allegedly walked out naked, locked the suite door, and forced the maid onto the bed. She told police he then tried to take her clothes off. And when she resisted, he allegedly dragged her into the bathroom and forced her to perform a sex act. Three hours later at Kennedy International Airport, police arrested Strauss-Kahn as he was seated in first class just 10 minutes before his Air France flight to Paris was scheduled to take off. The maid later identified the IMF chief in a police lineup. Strauss-Kahn's job running the IMF placed him in a key role in efforts to stem the European debt crisis, forming aid packages for Greece and Ireland. The twice divorced but currently married Strauss-Kahn admitted an affair with a subordinate three years ago. His reputation got him the nickname the Great Seducer. Sources inside the IMF tell CBS News that Strauss-Kahn always kept his job because of his abilities in the banking world. But his future in that position is now clearly uncertain. And according to police, they caught a break in arresting Strauss-Kahn when he called the hotel looking for his cell phone. A hotel employee lied and then asked where he could return it to him, and only then were investigators aware that he was about to leave the country from JFK. Erica? What a story. Michelle Miller this morning. Michelle, thanks.